and welcome to Backwards Compatibles Read Vidcast. Today we're going to be looking at Lady Killen number two from Dark Horse Comics. Um, this is a new uh, series, basically the idea is we're going to be bringing video reviews. As you may be able to see, you're going to unfortunately see my ugly mug. And you're also going to be seeing a few preview pages from the comic flicking through as well. So this book is created by uh, Jolie Jones and Jamius Rich. Jolie Jones also does the, the artwork and it's coloured by Laura Allred. Now, um, for me, the creative team on this are doing a great job because uh, the whole premise of it is that you are, as you can see, there's a lady in there named Josie um, Shushla, Shula, who is a housewife. She also is an Avon lady, and as you can see, this she's dressing up as a kitty cat girl in a nightclub, and as you can tell maybe from the pictures that are on screen now, she's also a hit woman. Now, um, it's... Obviously, the name Lady Killer is pretty evident of what she was. It wasn't that well disguised in the first episode, um, but as you can see um, from the front cover, there there is an element of humour in within ev within everything. Um, this is sent in the I think it's in the fifties or sixties. I can't quite put my finger on it actually. Um, but the idea being is that she's um, not only a hit woman, but she's also a um, a mother as well so a mother and a wife so again it she's got that difficult balance trying to work things out so the first um if she was very very good um very strong the artwork as you can see is absolutely immense actually but also the story plays out quite well you can tell that there's a few little issues going on with her children and her mother-in-law mother-in-law's um quite funny because she's a an old an old grumpy german lady who suspects that Josie's up to something but obviously what she's up to exactly is um, a different matter. There's also a larger than life character which is a handler who's the guy who basically sets up all her problems and in this um, issue we do get to meet a bit more about her, a bit more of her work within the, we get to meet a few more people from the agency basically. So it's definitely worth a read. Um, if you like the uh, kind of the violence and a little bit of tongue in cheek jokes, it's just one of those things where you've got to watch. The artwork as I said is great, the colours on it are brilliant from, from all red and uh, Jolie Jones does draw people um, just seems to be able to get a knack of drawing people's faces so as you can see on the picture there you can see that the grins and the men and you can see the sort of the dirty look coming from Josie the area in the top left hand panel which is absolutely great I think it just gives you that sense about um, gives you a sense of uh, you know, the characters and what they're feeling so for me this is definitely a series worth picking up um, as I say it's from Dark Horse and the latest issue comes out um, on the the 4th of February. Don't forget to pick up the first issue. If you want to find out more about it, then we have got a review of issue one up on the site as well. So thank you very much for watching and good night.